Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing great as always. So two kind of, you know, complaints that I hear a lot from people visiting Japan, especially Tokyo, is that there's one, not enough garbage cans, and two, not enough clean public toilets for people to use while they're out and about in the city. Garbage cans, you know, there's not much I can do about that. That's still a pretty big issue all anywhere you go in Japan, really, but toilets. Now, uh, at least in Tokyo, there's a really cool thing going on called the Tokyo Toilet Project, where they've gotten 16 uh, designers, and in 17 different places around Tokyo, they've created these really cool well designed and kind of artsy interesting toilets for people to use that are clean and really easy to uh, access and that for everyone here not only the tourists obviously but for Japanese people as well so one cool thing about this project that I should mention right off the bat is there's this really neat website it's just the to Tokyo toilet so if you're interested in this project and want to check it out look online and uh, I've got a link down in the description below about this website and on it, you can find all the different toilets. There's 17 of them all together, like I said. And each one has the description of who designed it, where it's located, with a map and everything like that. And there's a lot of really good information about the project in general, how they maintain them and things like that. Any kind of issues that pop up with the toilets uh, are put up there as well as like a little kind of information of that. I should mention, I said that there's 17 different toilets, but I'm not going to all 17 of these things. That's a long day of walking around Tokyo, and I kind of want to, you know, just introduce the project and show some of the ones that I think are interesting and look kind of cool. So to start off with, on the map you might notice, I'm actually going to be starting not from number one. I'm going to start from number 14, which is in Ebisu Park. It's pretty cool. It's right behind me here. I kind of figured this would be a neat excuse for me to do some street photography, wander around the city, have these as points that I want to check out, and I can photograph and video them as well, and just check out these really cool, well-designed toilets. So, yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs>
so this really sucks. These were the bathrooms that I really wanted to check out because uh, as you can see right now, you can't see inside of them. Obviously they're a bathroom, but normally you can. They're uh, homemade, the glass there is actually see-through. And then when you close it and lock it, it turns into what it is now. Uh, looking on the website, I actually saw that there was problems with this, but I kind of figured that we, like, the notice that I saw, it was like from December of last year, so I thought they might have fixed it. So I just, you know, wanted to come and check it out just in case. Uh, but no, it's still like this, unfortunately. The bathrooms are still usable, not a problem at all that way. Uh, but I was really looking forward to seeing like the, the glass go from see-through to non-see-through when you close it. So unfortunately, that uh, these bathrooms don't do that anymore. There's actually two of these. The same designer did two of them, uh, basically the same kind of thing, just in two different spots. They're really close together. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to skip these ones and then go on to like the last one or two that I wanted to do for this video. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, these aren't as cool as I thought they'd be. <laughs> So I'm not going to take any pictures or anything. They got the harigami, the stupid notice on there and stuff. And that just looks like garbage. So I'm just going to keep moving. So yeah, <laughs> too bad. Ah. So yeah, that's the, the Tokyo toilet project for me for today. And we only got about seven different toilets, which sounds absolutely hilarious to me right now that I say that. We checked out seven different toilets today in Tokyo. And there's actually about 10 more out there somewhere in Tokyo, but I am tired. I've walked about 1,300, no, 13,000 steps today. So I'm a little bit tired and it's time to get back home and pick up my son from preschool. But yeah, this is a really neat experiment, uh, really neat. I've never really done a whole lot of architecture photography, which is basically kind of a mix of architecture and street photography today. And never really done that. So it's kind of neat to check out all these different uh, styles of toilets. As you can see, everyone is different from the next, different colors, different shapes, different designs, different materials being used, but they're all actually really clean, very, very usable. The entire time I was shooting today, you know, people were coming in and out of the toilets constantly. It's great that Tokyo has put in this cool effort to, uh, you know, put in util utilitarian things like toilets that people need every day, but not just like put in like, porta potties everywhere like some other countries might do and they actually like you know got 16 amazing designers and designed these things and built them and they're for use and everyone's using them and they're still really clean you know they do a lot of maintenance work on them and stuff like that so it's really cool i think this is a really really neat project and it's amazing that japan was able to do something like this and it's uh, it's working it's really cool unfortunately those two that i really wanted to check out because i just love that technology of like turning on a switch and the glass goes from see-through to non-see-through. I've never seen that in my life before, uh, personally, so I was really looking forward to seeing that. But unfortunately, I could not because they were broken and some guy is staring at me right now and he's totally weird. 
Domo! <laughs> Got his mouth wide open staring at me. But anyway, so that was fun. I'm tired. I'm gonna grab a coffee and head home. So uh, thanks guys. Hope this was interesting. Check out, you know, the Tokyo Toilet Project website. It's got a full map and all the details and everything there. Tons of information. And if you're in Tokyo and looking for a toilet, check it out. And I'm sure you'll find one that's really cool. So yeah, subscribe. Comments are coming like crazy all the time, guys. Thanks a lot. It's awesome. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> yeah.